Thank you. Uh, Senator Neil O'Donnell. Oh, there you go. Uh, Carly, and can I add my words of thanks Carly, to you and, and, and to the Leader and all the staff uh, on a very uh, positive uh, term. Uh, leader, there is a very alarming case uh, emerging, and you may have seen it, uh, as may have colleagues uh, in the media over the last two days, uh, emerging in Belfast of a young couple who are seeking residency to allow the husband uh, of the couple to remain in Belfast and build a life uh, for himself and his wife. Uh, Jake and Emma D'Souza are being treated appallingly by the UK uh, Visas and Immigra Immigration Department. The couple alleged they are experiencing controlled movement and confinement, all because the Immigration Department in Britain are refusing to re recognise the legitimacy of Ahmed D'Souza's nationality as an Irish person. Ms D'Souza was born in Mahrafalt in South Derry. Um, she carries an Irish passport. She considers herself to be Irish. She is Irish. She bases her legal claim to Irish citizenship on her passport and the clause in the Good Friday Agreement, which legally and constitutionally recognises her Irish nationality. The clause declares to recognise the birth rate of all the people uh, of the North to identify themselves and be accepted as Irish or British, or both, as they may so choose, and accordingly confirm that their right to hold both Irish and British citizenship is accepted for both governments and would not uh, be affected by any future change in the constitutional status uh, in the North. So this clause clearly recognises Ms D'Souza's uh, 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 as an Irish uh, national. The ANI Act in 1998 and the GFA form uh, the legal and constitutional framework within which the people of the North live and engage with law uh, and society. And, it's, and this is important because the 1998, 1998 Act gives legal protection to Ms D'Souza's human rights and affords her protection under Section 76, which deals with discrimination by public authorities and the Visa and Immigration Department is one of those. So the section says that it is unlawful for a public authority carrying out functions relating to the North to discriminate or to aid or incite another person to discriminate against a person or class of person on the grounds of religious belief or opinion. The Visa and Immigration Department is refusing to accept Ms D'Souza's Irish nationality, so it's discri discriminating against her uh, and her, hu her husband. Uh, Minister, I have a fair uh, amount more detail. It's a complex case. It's one I wanted to raise before uh, we head into the summer recess because I think it's something that we should come back to. I'm meeting Ms D'Souza uh, next week. I would hope that I could uh, encourage members from across the House, from all parties uh, and none, to lend their support uh, to not just supporting uh, Ms D'Souza's affirmation as an Irish citizenship, but that we can actually practically assist her uh, in drawing down her rights and legal protections. Senator Higgins. Uh, 